Member for Port Moody, Coquitlam. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Money laundering. We know this has been a problem in BC for years, a very serious problem, and not only in our casinos, but also affecting our real estate market, contributing to home prices escalating and, affor and the affordability crisis. Now is the time for all of us to work together. This is not a political issue, it's a criminal issue. And I think the people of British Columbia want a government that will address difficult issues like this. No one wants excuses. This government is taking action. We started by ordering an independent review of BC's anti-money laundering policies and practices in the Lower Mainland casinos, called the German Report. And from this, we've already put in a number of reforms that have reduced suspicious transactions substantially. But there's more work to do. And in moving forward, we need to understand the full scope of what's been done. What did the previous government do to address money laundering? The former Solicitor General from the previous government stated we did everything we could. Well, that's great to hear, but if that's the case, then let's share that information in the spirit of solving this problem together. Let's put politics aside. Let's work together for the benefit of British Columbians. Last year, the Attorney General made a request to representatives of the former government to waive cabinet privilege on all documents related to money laundering. This request was made in August of last year. Our government still has not received those documents. Why? When we ask, what did you do, we get silence. Maybe we're not asking the right people, I don't know. The former head of BC's integrated legal gambling enforcement team said that the Liberals did not crack down on money laundering because they didn't want to disrupt the flow of money. In fact, he called it the Wild West in BC's large casinos. What did the previous government do? It looks like they did nothing. Well, actually, that's not true. They did shut down the illegal gambling enforcement team. Peter German, former RCMP deputy commissioner, stated, for many years, Lower Mainland casinos unwittingly served as laundromats for the proceeds of organized crime. His 247-page report outlines in detail the mismanagement of BC Liberals overseeing gambling regulations. But this wasn't the first report on money laundering. The head of the Civil Forfeiture Office did a review on money laundering in 2011 that clearly states that money laundering was occurring in casinos. What did the previous government do? It looks like they did nothing. In 2013, the head of the Gaming Enforcement Investigations uh, sends an email that identifies the extent of money laundering in BC. What did the previous government do? Again, it looks like they did nothing. Well, again, the former Minister of Finance fired the investigator. In 2016, the government hires an, account, an, an accounting firm to investigate money laundering in one casino. The firm writes a report outlining detailed concerns about crime and money laundering. What did the government do? Again, it looks like they did nothing. Over and over again, the previous government was told that there's a serious problem, and over and over again, we cannot find what they did. And now they won't release cabinet documents on money laundering. It's just not acceptable. A lot of this money went into real estate driving up home prices and making homes unaffordable. Our government is also taking action on this. And in 2018, the Minister of Finance appointed an independent chair and expert panel to lead a review on money laundering in real estate. This report and another report from Peter German that focuses more on real estate will shed more light on this issue. The days of doing nothing are over. Our government is taking action. And we ask all members of this House to work together to do the right thing and release the Cabinet documents on this issue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.